President Donald Trump will hold a rally tomorrow in Harrisburg at the State Farm Show Complex. Thanks for joining us tonight at 10. I'm Evan Forrester. And I'm Amy Lutz. This will be Trump's first campaign event in Pennsylvania since the assassination attempt against him in Butler County earlier this month. Fox 43's James Corrigan is live outside the New Holland Arena now where the former president will speak in less than 24 hours. James. Yes, he will, Amy, and the setting of process has been going on throughout the day around me at the Pennsylvania Farm Show Complex. This will be the second time this year that former President Donald Trump will speak in the New Holland Arena behind me, but the circumstances surrounding this speech are far different than the one that he made back in February after the shooting in Butler County and the change in the Democratic nominee. The American people will see a leader who is not going to be intimidated under the obviously the most extreme of circumstances. Congressman Scott Perry says the former president's return to Pennsylvania for his first rally following the attempt on his life in Butler County earlier this month is a significant step. It will also be his first ever rally in the Commonwealth with Vice President Kamala Harris as his presumptive opponent in November. Her record has been one of complete and abject failure, not only as a attorney general for the state of California, but as a senator who barely showed up and as a person who was put in charge of the border and failed miserably. The Harris campaign has also been active in the Commonwealth, with Governor Josh Shapiro headlining a rally in Philadelphia on Monday night with Michigan Governor Gretchen Whitmer. Governor Shapiro touted Harris's experience as a prosecutor and vice president and criticized former President Trump for attacking Americans' freedoms to make their own choices. It is not freedom to tell people they can go to work, but they can't join a union. That's not freedom. It is not freedom to tell women what they're allowed to do with their bodies. That's not freedom. The setup in and outside the New Holland Arena for the Trump campaign event was underway throughout Tuesday, including supporters who arrived a day early. And I've been way in the back, and I've been in the middle, and I'm like, you know what, today I'm just going to take a chance and I came early and nobody could come with me and I'm like I'll just tough it out and I did. I worked for the seat today. Now, of course all eyes will be on the security for this event. Security and Secret Service are expected to sweep this area tomorrow before supporters are allowed inside and we of course will be inside for the speech which is expected to take place at 6 p.m. tomorrow. So, James, will former, with former President Trump coming to the area tomorrow, does the Harris campaign also have anything planned? Yes, it does, Evan. The Harris campaign is expected to hold an event tomorrow morning out in Steelton with labor leaders in the area there, highlighting what they say are President Trump's uh, divisive policies and attacks on labor and on the American worker. It's been just even, it's been less than 10 days since the Trump and Harris campaigns knew that they were going to face each other, and yet the attacks and the dueling, the dueling events are already taking place. All right. James Gorgon live in Harrisburg tonight. Thank you, James.